Some people argue that their religion came directly from God. It is not true. It came directly from God. Is it to you? That means to another man. And the man pens it down and says that this is the way that you are going to. That is, is man-made. Let's get it clear. It is what? Man-made. Welcome to another Women and Series, which is a Tobo Sigwe, Ezi Today I want to discuss on Odinana, a religion or spirituality. Odinana, a religion. Is it a religion or spirituality? Our people will say, Onye Rele Mwe, Onye Rele Mwe, Jegolo Nketa. This simply means that one who wants to who went to sell his monkey in order to buy a dog still have an animal that lies down with its bosom on the floor. In other words, there is no difference between six and half dozen. This simply means this is simply because both dog and monkey are to an, a large extent still domestic animal. Eh? They are still domestic what? Animals. So, when you are trying to dispose one domestic animal to buy another domestic animal, if any beg and if a mobu can Now, many Igbos believe that Christianity is not a religion, but a spiritual way of life. And also, some Igbos believe that Odinana is not a religion but a spirituality is a way of life i don't know what they always mean by this way of life which religion is not a way of life okay let's proceed you also hear some evil traditionally they argue forcefully that ordinana is not a religion that it is a way of life these two groups are just a typical case of undirelengwe jegolonketa you you will hear some Igbo Christians argue convincing, convincingly and persuasively that their fathers, their father, their, their grandfather, they were into traditional religion, that they followed them and all those things, and they went about with them, that they know much about traditional religion, that is too much of a religion, that is not like Christianity, which is a way of life. Now you see some Christ, um, some Igbo traditionalists, they also say the same thing that they have been Christians and that Christianity is a religion that is not like Odinana, that is just a way of life of a people. Like I'm saying, this is a classic case of Onyo Lelewe, Jegolonketa. The truth remains that Christianity, Odinani, Islam, Buddhism, Shintoism, Hinduism, Zoroastrianism, Confucianism, Scientology, Church of Satan, name it all. All of them are all world religions. Odinana is a religion. Christianity is a religion. Religion. Islam is a religion. Hinduism is a religion. So, one may ask, what is religion? Religion is man-made part to find God or the constructing the world universe. Man-made part. To find God and constructing the universe. Well, let's see the dictionary meaning of religion and add it to this one. I've just I've just explained now. Miriam Webster. The, that religion, the service and worship of God or the supernatural, commitment or division. To religious faith or observance, a personal set or institutionalized system of religious attitude, beliefs, and practice, a course, principle, or system of beliefs held to it, adore and faith. So, the first one, the service and worship of God or the supernatural, that means it's in line with the definition I gave, my own personal definition I gave, man made part to find God or the constructing world. The universe. Any part, any part that has been made for you by your fellow man 
in order to find God has become a ladder, a path, a religious ladder, a religion. I said is what is a made path to find God. And the dictionary agrees with me and said the service and worship of God. What I added is that is is man-made path. Some people argue that their religion came directly from God. It is not true. It came directly from God. Is it to you? That means to another man. And the man pens it down and says that this is the way that you are going to. That is, is man-made. Let's get it clear. It is what? Man-made. So, whenever you hear people say something like this, this is how we do it. It is religion. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. You are talking about religion. It's a classic case of religion. Whenever you see people say something like, our forefathers, our founder, our daddy in the Lord, our, father is, our fathers in the faith, our mothers in the faith, our martyrs, eh, did it this way. You are talking about religion. You are talking about what? Religion. Now, the question is, is there anything wrong with religion? Is there anything wrong with religion absolutely nothing there is nothing wrong with what religion there is nothing wrong with religion to find true spirituality one must always start with what religion to find true spirituality one must always start with religion it is when you get tired of religion that your journey to discover spirituality begins. It is when you get tired of man-made part of finding God, that is when you start asking yourself, how do I find this God for myself? That is where spirituality starts. So spirituality is purely a personal and flexible adventure. It is not a group thing. It is not a laid down thing. It is not a, something that they say a doctrine, something that is, is in book or something that they codify. No. That's why I said it's what? Personal and flexible. You must come to that decision to find God by yourself. When you get tired of the one, the system that has been laid down for you, that is religion. So many people will not walk the path of Christianity till they die. They, sorry, the path of spirituality till they die. They will, is, they will keep follow the paths that have been laid down for them. I'm not saying, remember I said there is nothing wrong with it. But everything has higher dimension. Experiencing God for yourself, the God consciousness, is as in, that is spirituality. It's the zenith of if any in many ways you are Forget what everybody is saying that, that's their experiencing is a is a personal thing. And when you start, nobody is going to show you how it's going to be done. It's a question you ask yourself and start working out that path for yourself and the fruit you'll be seeing. It's a very lonely quest. Finding God is a very old, lonely quest. And the Bible is called the narrow road. It's a very lonely quest. However, religion is a group and rigid journey to find God. That's why you see people gather in a space trying to experience God. The you are seeing there is religion. Whenever people are gathered in group, let it be two, from two, three, four, five, it, is, it has entered religion. Spirituality is purely an individual affair. Nobody is giving you rules. Nobody is telling you to pray by this time of the day. Nobody is telling you to use this thing to pray. Whether you are using Kolanot or using Inzu or you are using water, nobody is telling you that. It's only you that is telling yourself. Nobody is giving you any prescription. Nobody can find God, or should I say, get to that God-realized state through religion. However, religion can give you the right foundation to begin this personal quest. The job of religion is to give you the right word foundation to begin this personal quest. 
almost all today's religion are built on lay down rules of yesterday's personality who personally experienced God for themselves. Nobody laid down the rule for them. Regrettably, spirituality does not pay heed to yesterday's convention. No, to a case he may We are not, that's not spirituality. Just for example, in this Odinana, by the time you enter into Odinana to find spirituality via the religion called Odinana, you won't be talking no to a case he may yesterday. You will not be saying those kind of things. This does not in any mean, it, this does not in any way mean that you are despising how it was done yesterday. No. What it means is that you are now finding God today, with your own means today. With your own means, what today? That's what it means. Spirituality is an ever changing path. Spirituality is an ever changing path. It is not rigid or fixed. It is not really rigid or fixed. So you see, Odinana or Igbo ancestral religion is a religion. Let's stop all these semantics that it's present, um, um, Odinana is not a religion. It's a religion. It is how our ancestors attempted to find God yesterday. There is nothing wrong with using their method in our quest today. What is wrong is limiting ourselves to it. What is wrong is claiming that your religion is the truth, the life, and the only way of finding God. That is what is wrong. There is nothing wrong with religion. There is nothing wrong with Odinana. But don't think that it is the only way. Don't ever say that it is the truth. Don't ever say that it is the life. Don't ever claim it superior. A true spiritual seeker must be open-minded. It is in being open-minded that you will discover the strange and deep path that you will walk to find and experience God, or what the Hindus or the Buddhists will call what? Nirvana. The Christians will call it heaven. Anybody that wants to find God, if you are not open-minded, you will be, you will become imprisoned to the dogmas and doctrines of your religion. If you are not open-minded, you will become imprisoned to the dogmas and doctrines in Odinana. If you are not open-minded, you become imprisoned to the dogmas and, and doctrines in Christianity. To, you will become imprisoned to the dogmas and doctrines in of Hinduism, you must be open-minded if you really want to experience God, because God is in every religion, is everywhere. If I, if I end, let me reiterate three things you must know about religion. Three things you must know about religion. Number one, number one, it is handed down by people who have lived before you. So before you say that Odinana is not a religion, or Christianity is not a religion, or Islam is not a religion, ask yourself this question. Was it handed down by people who have lived before you? Was it passed down to you? And when they may live before you, that system. Number two, does it have any codified laws, convention that demands strict adherence? Is there a book? Is there a book of laws? Is there, whether formal or informal, is there things that they say that this is how you do it to find God and all those kind of stuff. And if you have to do it, you have to do it by this time of the day or by this time of the night. Number three. Three things to know about religion. Number three. Each religion claims their path is the short path to God or better life. When you hear people say that their religion is the best, is the authentic, is this they are talking about religion, or their way or their spirituality is the best, is they are talking about what religion. Once you start saying that it is the only way you are talking about religion. So from this above, from these three things I've, I've mentioned, it's clear that Odinana is a religion. Odinana is what? A religion. But like I said, there is nothing bad about what? Religion. 
we must know its merits and demerits. Anybody that have that wants to find God must start with religion. All I always tell people is that Odinana is our own. It is what our own. We have our own religion. It is our own. That's our, that's what I always say. If you want to find God, start from your own. Start from your own. That has always been my argument. I do not say that Odinana is not a religion. Odinana is a religion. Pure and simple. No this and no peace. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and share. I would like to hear from some of you. If you have any question, please, you can reach me through the number on the screen or my email address or other, my other social media handles. Thank you. Thank you.